Good morning everyone. I hope you are having a great day. Today I'd like to share from the letter of Romans chapter 8 verse 5 to 7 and if you can, I want to encourage you to read these verses with me. Those who live according to the flesh have their mind set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. Amen. In today's passage, the Apostle Paul talks about living according to the flesh and living according to the spirit. Living according to the flesh refers to the law of sin and death, as we are familiar with it from previous chapters. And if we live our lives by doing what we want to do and not really care about the gospel, what would be the result? Regardless what the word of God says, we would pursue whatever gives us pleasure in this world because that would be where our minds are set. In that case, the Bible says we would not be able to submit to God's law which would result in separation from God and eternal death. But on the other hand, living according to the Spirit is different. It refers to the law of the Spirit that set us free from the sin and death. If we live according to the Spirit, we would value what Jesus says, just as our minds would be set on the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Then, we would pursue the lifestyle of Jesus instead of pursuing flesh and earthly pleasures. We would pursue what Jesus says is valuable and important, which is the kingdom of God. If you have some time today, let us read this passage one more time and look back our lives this week. And let us ask these questions to ourselves. What are some of the things that we are pursuing in our lives? Are we living according to the flesh? In what aspect? What does it mean for us to live our lives according to the Spirit? And in order to do that, what are some of the things that need to change in our lives? And let us have a time of prayer. Let us pray to God and seek Him and rely on the Holy Spirit who can help us to pursue the life of Christ and His kingdom in our lives. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Thank you for dwelling in us and protecting us. Lord, every day the sinful temptations come to us and they try to turn our attention to the flesh and worldly pleasures. Lord, please help us to set our minds on the Spirit and rely on your power so that we can refuse the temptations just as Jesus did in the wilderness. Lord, help us to live our lives according to the Spirit and pursue your kingdom instead of this world. Lord, give us a desire for others to be saved by your grace and give us courage to reach out to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.